fights. I am excited for this fight, Andy. A lot of people are. Vince McGinnis fought a couple shows ago against the high top prospect that is Peter Barrett. They went to war for three rounds, back and forth action. He dropped Peter Barrett. He showed that he's legit and that he's a real force to be reckoned with. He's coming up from Tampa, Florida, and he's taking on another undefeated New England prospect in Giannetti. Giannetti's a much younger man, a much taller man, a natural lightweight who's got a lot of quick finishes by submission on his resume. He's undefeated as uh, an amateur, undefeated as a pro, but Vince McGinnis is so tenacious, so powerful, so crisp with his counter striking, with his aggression, superior striking from Vince McGinnis. And we're gonna see him really test out the young up and comer. Yeah, Vince McGinnis has uh, just phenomenal striking game. His Muay Thai is unbelievable. He's a brown belt under Dwayne Ludwig. Um, yeah, I mean, Jojo Giannetti, I've said it time and time again, the kid, is, he looks unstoppable. He's never lost, but I mean, he's got his hands full with this one. Absolutely, anything can happen. And for uh, an away teamer, as you might call him, Vince McGinnis has a lot of fans in oh, yeah. New England because he's fought here a couple of times and he always brings it, puts on a good show, and you know, fight of the night performance against Peter Barrett. Even though he fell short, not by much, he's looking to get in the wing column here in New England. A lot of experience under his belt. Absolutely. Super exciting, super dynamic, very technical. This is a matchup that most of the fans around have been really waiting to see. He enters the cage. He's pumped and ready to go. Very calm and collected in there. Bouncing around, super confident. And here comes Skeletor. Power Rangers theme song, it's gonna be. What's he doing? Not sure what this is. I'm confused. Here he comes. Jojo Giannetti, Skeletor, Darth Vader, a man of many nicknames who loves five guys. Oh yeah. He actually ate five guys right after weigh-ins. What a savage. He's making his professional debut at 155. Though he's got four fights under his belt at the professional level, they've all been at 170 or catch weights at higher weights. So this is the first time you've seen him at his natural weight class. And like you said, he's got his hands full in Vince McGinnis. Yeah, you know, JoJo, he's making his first trip to 155 in the pros. Um, he definitely, he had a very successful amateur career at 155. He, uh, you know, he moved up in weight when he went pro just to, uh, you know, get a streak going. It's going to be interesting to see. You know, he hasn't done this cut in a while, so maybe that could come into play. The crowd roars when he comes in. Circles around. A slap of the hands. A lot of respect between these two guys. Such an exciting matchup. Make it official, Harry Jones. Excited. Referee Brian Miner about to get this one started once the cage door is shut and locked, which it will be shortly. It'll be interesting to see if JoJo goes straight in for a takedown or if he tries to feel him out and strike with him. McGinnis in the black shorts, JoJo in the white and blue shorts. McGinnis looking quick. Big right hand from McGinnis right off the bat. Now, when McGinnis fought Peter Barrett, he had a lot of success with his straight right hand. Head kick from JoJo causes him to slip. Vince McGinnis. JoJo is a southpaw just to stand like up. Peter. And McGinnis has some power. He dropped Barrett. Barrett is so tough, but 
McGinnis got him to fall. Another slip off of a head kick from JoJo. JoJo trying to time that left hand. Good leg kick from McGinnis. There's the, shot. the shot. There's the two. McGinnis pushing on the head, posting on the hand, trying to get his knees out. And he does that successfully. Great tripod up, but McGinnis is giving up his back in a way. His back against the cage makes it tough for Giannetti to get that second hook in. But so far, he's got his right hook in, and he might be looking for a trip on the outside. We've seen in the past, JoJo has a phenomenal jiu-jitsu game. This could be danger for uh, Vince McGinnis. He's got to so get away. So far, so good from McGinnis in his takedown defense. He's got his right leg extended. He's finally got his hand out of there. He's got to turn into him. But JoJo's got his left arm around the back of McGinnis, controlling the left arm of uh, controlling the left arm of McGinnis. JoJo with the right hand landing to the open face of McGinnis, but McGinnis doing a very good job staying cool, calm, and collected. Very careful, careful approach from McGinnis. As JoJo's trying to find the neck with one hook in, it's gonna be tough to do against a veteran like McGinnis. Especially up against the wall there. It's very hard to finish that choke. McGinnis grabs the hand though. He sees it coming. So there might not be a lot of action going on, but this is a situation where nobody can afford to make a big mistake. There's a lot of very small intricacies with the hand fighting, the leg positioning, how your hips are positioned, how you're controlling your opponent's shoulders. There's so much going on that the average fan might not be able to see because it's not as high paced, but there is so much going on. Believe it, these people are playing human chess right there, looking for a neck, looking for an out, looking for an escape. It's McGinnis throwing those elbows to the thigh. Giannetti's looking for a guillotine. I don't know. It's, a, it's an anaconda choke. Anaconda choke, rather. He's got long arms to do it. Oh, uh, this he's might sitting, be trouble. He's sitting on it very tight. McGinnis is so experienced, though. He hasn't tapped yet. No. Nope. I don't think he's looking to tap either. Not sure. He's trying to fight. He looks like he's um, looks like he's posting enough where Giannetti doesn't have to control the hips enough to really finish the choke. Still to the big Let's threat. Go. He's got a full mount. He relinquishes the choke. And he's landing some punches against the cage. Vince McGinnis needs to scoot his hips up, try and shuck um, JoJo off him, and try and post up and get back to his feet. JoJo going to try and slide to the back as McGinnis does that. McGinnis is very cautious, though. He's not giving up his back. He's in a weird spot right now where he's got to get back up, but he doesn't want to give up his back. JoJo's legs are just so long. That anaconda choke was deep, oh, and Vince McGinnis showed his experience by staying composed and getting out of it effectively. Or, or just weathering the storm and letting Giannetti relinquish the choke because he knew he wasn't going to finish it. Great composure shown from Vince McGinnis. JoJo's just sitting on this mount right now. Landing elbows. elbows now. McGinnis, they're not hurting him, but they're adding up. McGinnis is kind of like stuck. It's a very Ma awkward spot for Vince to be in. Because uh, he's, he's, JoJo's got his left arm around the back of McGinnis controlling the wrist preventing him from having another hand to defend himself or really post up. Now he's got so he's got his triangle. right hand free to throw at will. So they're not so much like knockout punches, but they're just pitter-patter punches that are really adding up. Well, more than pitter-patter, but I don't know if they're really going to finish the fight. Jojo looks like he's trying to creep up on the neck. No, just sitting on mount, trying to work some ground and pound in. Excellent control from Giannetti. Vince McGinn is just on all D. Oh, he reverses it. But look how uh, Jojo's arms are so long. In full guard, he he has a Kimura. That's that control that I was talking about that he's got on that arm. He might be looking to get a really grip on that Kimura grip. This could be the first time we see JoJo out of the first round in a professional belt. Oh, yeah. We knew it was going to be a test. We knew it was going to be tough. And McGinnis has shown that he is really game and willing to take on the top prospects in New England. He finds himself on top in the waning seconds of the round. JoJo going for an oompa sweep, trying to, trying to get that Kimura grip back. Vince McGinnis recognizing it, keeping his arm out of jeopardy. Ten seconds left. Vince McGinnis tough on top. Not much time left. So we saw in that first round, JoJo definitely has the advantage on the ground. McGinnis helping back up. What a class act, both of these guys. Very interesting first round. Vince McGinnis so tough. You know, he got mounted, but he kept working. He eventually reversed the position. We got the camera honed in on the corner of Joe Giannetti. Jojo first time out of the first round. Let's see how his cardio holds up. 
We know he's experienced. We know he's ready to take this fight anywhere. He slipped on the feet a couple of times, throwing head kicks, but his ground game was definitely superb. He landed a mount, got Vince McGinnis in some bad spots, almost finishing an anaconda choke. We're working a Kimura, great ground and pound, great elbows, good showcase of skills from Giannetti. But the heart of McGinnis is not one to be doubted. He's going to come back strong. He's going to try and land some big shots on the feet and try and start taking control of this fight. So going into the second round, you know, Vince has definitely got to be worrying about that takedown. Doesn't want to end up on bottom again. And we know he's got a gas tank. He's been the distance once, at least. Jojo Giannetti looks absolutely fresh. He looks very confident. Door shut. Almost locked. Almost locked. Um, not quite. Let's get this. Some problems locked. going on with the locking. And there we go. It's locked. It's locked. We got it. Yeah, we're locked. It's on. Second round. Professional bout. McGinnis in the black shorts. Giannetti in the white and blue. Head kick from Giannetti. Return from an inside leg kick from Vince McGinnis. Nice not left hook from McGinnis. Good jab from Giannetti. McGinnis nice right, right hand. hand over the top, trying to break the guard. That had some power on it. Yeah, McGinnis knows how to throw. And he likes doing it. Ooh, spinning heel kick by Jojo Giannetti. Nice Inside. light kick. Nice question mark kick. That was a slick little uh, question mark kick, they yeah, call it. You, oh, oh. No, that wow. had power. It's a different kind of power when um, when McGinnis strikes versus when JoJo strikes. JoJo hits hard, there's no doubt. Uh, but when really McGinnis lands, you legs. feel it. I feel it. Joe trying to show off his striking skills. He's throwing a couple of random spinning attacks. McGinnis has dodged all of them. He's got to get a little more aggressive here if he wants to start taking control of this fight. Not so much where he gets shot on again and taken down, but he's got to really increase the output if he wants to start taking control. He's trying to, he's trying to constantly back JoJo up against the cage. JoJo constantly switching stances. JoJo just moving so much. He threw that nice Superman punch. Yeah, but he he's moving the cage. so much. He's making it very difficult for Vince to counter. Definitely a tough target so far for Vince McGinnis. Nice leg kick from McGinnis. And he's a shot, shot from stuffed. JoJo gets stuffed very effectively by McGinnis. JoJo trying to get a hold of the head, watching the guillotine. Looks like McGinnis has his chin tucked, and looks like he's keeping himself safe. Hammer fists and elbows to the legs from Vince McGinnis. Joe looks Giannetti. like JoJo's really trying to. Uh, oh, oh, he's got he's got he's gable gripping his hands, trying to reverse position with an underhook, Vince and then he's got back to trying clasped. to control the head. Vince has the double locked up. He's Hands are class left. from McGinnis right in front of us. Oh, and a counter choke by JoJo. I can see it right here. It's going to be tough here. to finish. He doesn't have to control the hips so far yet. And McGinnis is very aware of it. Right. He's looking to avoid that choke and looking to finish this takedown as well. Good knees to the legs from McGinnis. <laughs> Switching it to an arm and guillotine, it looks like, is JoJo trying to finish this choke, trying to get it really in place. But McGinnis doing a good job of controlling. JoJo's looking for the guillotine. That's a weird little guillotine. He's in side control, trying to go for a sweep. Oh, he's got that dust now. He's got an anaconda choke, and it's deep. He's in full guard almost. McGinnis is starting to wince, but he looks like he's trying to pop his head out of it. Doing a good job. The experience of McGinnis is really showing here. He's been caught in this before, and he weathered the storm early. Gennetti so calm and collected, really trying to remain undefeated here with a perfect finishing rate. Yeah, Joe's just so tricky on the ground. Doesn't look like it's, he can doesn't, throw a doesn't look like the choke is completely cinched in. He's trying to lean into him, tighten it up a little bit. But McGinnis looks very composed as far as I'm concerned right now. They're right in front of us. I don't want to talk too loud. I want him to hear me. Yeah, you know, um, Joe, even though he's not going to be able to quite finish this choke, He's always threatening with these chokes, and that's what makes it so hard to grapple with him. Vince McGinnis just kind of stuck here in the spot. Yeah, he can't, he can't, be, uh, he can't be too aggressive because he could just deepen the choke. 
but he's got to constantly try and work out of it. And he knows what kind of jeopardy he's in. He knows the danger he's in. He's going to find a way to inch himself out of it. So tough to fight the hands there. You kind of got to get your thumb in between the elbow and try and work your way up the wrist to fight this choke. He's got to slide his right hand in to avoid that left shoulder of Giannetti being in the neck. Giannetti's turning to a hip. This is deeper. He's deepening the choke. He's sinking it very deep. Getting a little deeper. He's got to fall to a hip to finish the choke and wrap the right leg around. And um, Vince McGinnis is recognizing that and just keeping the weight on him, trying to stack him. All right, it is no longer an anaconda choke. He doesn't have it under the bicep it's yet, but he's still constantly threatening with that arm and guillotine. And with Gian Giannetti's build and how long his arms are, anything is possible, like Kevin Garnett used to like say. Like he's going to try to sweep with the guillotine. Nope. He's got a butterfly hook, and he's, I'm curious to see how he's really trying to use that. It's a, it's a weird stalemate being caught in a submission attempt like that that isn't quite deep, but you're constantly working for it. Heel strikes from Gennetti, punches to the bottom from body from Vince McGinnis. I just got sweat in my eye. That's why I'm standing up. <laughs> Smile on the face of Gennetti. So what we saw in that round was another controlling round from Joe Gennetti. But the experience, Vince McGinnis looks fresh here. He had his neck in a bad spot for a while. He was getting some decent strikes in, um, some good knee strikes against the cage. Good clinch work from him, good clinch control. Ended up scoring the takedown, but right after, right off the bat from the takedown, there was a choke attempt from Giannetti, which pretty much remained for the duration of the round. Vince McGinnis really needed to work his way out of that. Uh, though he was on top, he was in danger. We've seen earlier tonight that the um, judges are favoring the submission attempts for a lot of these fighters. So he, need, he might be down two rounds here. He might need to go for broke. I'm not sure how the judges are scoring it. Yeah, I expect... Uh... You know, Vince has got to, he's got to get more aggressive. He's got to get his strikes off, land that right hand, possibly a head kick. Gennetti's just, he has no answer to Gennetti's uh, jiu-jitsu so far. Well, he does have an answer because all of Gennetti's fights so far, people have already succumbed to that choke. And so far, McGinnis hasn't. So in a way, he does have an answer for it because he hasn't tapped. Gennetti, not only has he seen his first, second round, all the way to the third round without a finish. Excellent combination from Gennetti. Excellent return from McGinnis. This is what McGinnis needs. Yeah, McGinnis. Feeling you can it see, out. See the look in uh, McGinnis' eyes. He's getting he, a little more aggressive. Nice he knows combination he needs to finish. McGinnis. Good left hand from JoJo. Nice jab from JoJo. Oh, double kick. Beautiful. Nice heel Spinning kick. Spinning kick. Finds a home. Blocked, but still nice to look at. JoJo nice. throwing Double very kicks. aggressive kicks. I love the way JoJo's doubling up his kicks. He goes leg and then he goes head. Nice inside leg kick from JoJo. He kind of really whips that leg kick in. Got to be careful. McGinnis is a very good counter striker. And that's what he's looking for. McGinnis really needs to capitalize on this opportunity that JoJo's really trying to strike with him. Hasn't threatened the takedown yet. Head movement from Vinginis on point. Gennetti just out there having fun. Right hand trying to find a home over the top. Very telegraph spinning kick. McGinnis looking to find a home for those combinations. Good defense from Gennetti. McGinnis. Starting to stalk him with the hands down, trying to entice a brawl, which is what he would want happening. Giannetti staying patient, fighting a very smart fight. Yeah, just lots of movement by JoJo. He's just sticking and moving. The take, the shots of Giannetti is what's stifling the striking output of Vince McGinnis. He doesn't want to get taken down. So therefore, he's being more cautious. Excellent return. Caught the kick. Landed a nice combination, did uh, McGinnis. Vince McGinnis getting a little frustrated here. Can't counter. George is doing a great job of keeping him away. And nice combination. He's not throwing anything that's going to knock Vince out, but he's throwing so much that he's, you know, he's scoring points. He's winning on the scorecards for sure. Mm. 
ripping a big punch, does McGinnis. Very he's hard really to swinging hit. for the fences. He knows that he's got to finish. JoJo's very hard to hit. He's moving a lot. Oh, oh big as right he hand. gets hit by the right hand there, but doesn't see the phase him too much. Nice leg kick from McGinnis as he caught the body kick. McGinnis ripped a right hand to the body. I am so impressed with JoJo's striking game. Yeah, he's throwing everything that he has at him. I've never seen him strike like this before, and it's awesome to watch. Nice right hand to the body. See, this is what Vince McGinnis has been waiting for and what he's been wanting all fight. And he really, if it's time to start really throwing volume, it is now. He's got to try and back JoJo up, circle him the right way, start landing combinations. Try and time a big uppercut or something, set it up with the jab, start peppering the jab. Start trying to snipe him from a distance while being able to stuff the takedown. But JoJo's movement and the threat of the takedown is stifling the attack of Vince McGinnis so far. Yeah, Vince just can't get any good offense off. He can't hit him. Excellent head movement from JoJo. Now he's throwing. Yeah, Vince McGinnis landed a couple punches there. Another leg kick, both of them through. And there's the clinch. JoJo right for the head. Right to the neck is JoJo. It's like Gumby, always goes for that choke. McGinnis scores Zin. the takedown, but right into a guillotine attempt. Looks like, uh... Oh, well, JoJo, you never know. It could be an anaconda attempt. McGinnis starting to pepper, pepper, pepper that body. But what he should do is try and fight the wrist, posture up, and ground and pound. Go for broke, go for the finish. It's more of an arm and guillotine at this point. JoJo trying to sit up into it, get some more torque on that. Try and cut the blood off to the head, but McGinn is so experienced, not going to let it happen. JoJo Giannetti just content to stay here and hold on to that neck. Ten seconds left. That's all you got to do. Giannetti squeezed and trying to finish this fight. But instead, we see them go the distance. Three five-minute rounds in the books. They go the distance. 15 minutes of a war, a tactical war, where JoJo got a chance to showcase his striking abilities. Vince McGinnis showed his heart, got put in some bad spots with the chokes, but always kept his po composure. He scored some good strikes in the first and second round. The third round, JoJo really started to kick up the volume. And the story really was, do you like the submission attempts? Or do you like the top control? Yeah, you know, Joe Giannetti on the ground, he was constantly fighting for that neck. On his feet, he was just really elusive and just so hard to hit. And, you know, he, he kept Vince away at his range, and he did a great job of just, you know, keeping Vince away and keeping him frustrated, not letting him hit him. Awesome experience for uh, Giannetti. He's 5-0, and oh, uh, well... Once the decision comes in, he might be 5-0, and oh, so good fight for him to have. Vince McGinnis, always a game opponent. He might have won this on top control. You never know what the judges are feeling like today. We've seen crazier things. Excellent showcase of class. Harry Jones set to make this decision official. Another great matchup taken at the distance. It's going to be a round of applause for these two competitors. You walking, Harry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Once again, taking it down to the judges' table. And with scores of 30 27 across the board, we have the winner by unanimous decision. Joe! Vince McGinnis clearly upset with the decision. He thought his top control did it. But Giannetti scores all three rounds on all three judges' scorecards, remains undefeated. Made it to the deep water, goes three full rounds, 
He shows he's got cardio. Vince McGinn is always game. Such a tough guy. Yeah, you know, Vince, he just, uh, he's always fun to watch, man. That guy is an absolute beast. But, you know, Joe Giannetti, he wouldn't be denied. He's on his way up. He's 5-0 and now. He's got a bright future. Yep, they're trying uh, their best to keep the microphone away from Giannetti. Giannetti emerges out of the cage without being able to say a dang thing.